What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today man, I'm bringing you guys episode number 7 to the No Money Spent series. Now, before we get into this video, I did just want to say again, thank you for all the love you guys have been showing recently, but not only recently with all the videos with this series. A lot of you guys have been asking me in every video being like, Bio, we want No Money Spent. We want it more than one day a week. So I got y'all. I'm going to be posting it today. Even if they do drop content, I'm going to be recording this on the like on Thursday, January 9th. So yeah, you guys should be seeing this tonight. Um, I, I mean, if unless they update the token market and there's like a million other videos to record. Uh, yeah, this is what we are going to be doing here today. So do me a favor. If you guys are still enjoying this series, hit that like button. 100 likes is the goal for episode number eight. And uh, yeah. Let's get into this video. Now, the last time we did this, we built this team. I made one addition to this team since the last time um, <clears throat> I actually did make this, and that is Kerry Kittles. For 900 MT, I picked him up for 21 gold badges. He is an insane sharpshooter, and he also has clamps. So he's going to be a good, like, 3 and D player for us. He is one of the best releases in this game. The only problem is he doesn't have range extender, so that kind of sucks. But he does have, like, an 87-3. 85 dunk and he can play some defense so pretty good addition to the team right there the rest of the team is looking really good we got defense out the ass on the deep on the uh on the uh, bench in the starting lineup rondo's looking pretty good with that pierce duo we have kobe Giannis, and ayton obviously the squad's looking pretty good so other than that there's some things i have to share with you guys one um we actually did get our collector level up to get this uh cedric sabalos I don't really know if he's going to make the team. Probably not, just because he, obviously he's way outdated. But it's a free card to add to our collection here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The base league pack that you guys just saw right there is actually from the daily login thing. Um, and I know I promised you guys in the last episode I wasn't going to forget to log in. <sighs> I forgot to log in. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I forgot to log in. So I, that's a fat L on my part. I do apologize. I forgot to log in. So we did miss out on like a token and some MT, but we're also not going to get the spin at the end of the week, which is terrible. I hate the fact that I keep doing that, but then there was this collector thing where if you get an Emerald Center, you get two free tokens. So we're going to be adding two more tokens to the team, which is pretty good. So yeah, that's where we are. Actually, there are some locker codes we're going to go ahead and punch in. I think there's actually only one we can punch in, but uh, yeah, you guys will see what it is. It's nothing special anyway. This locker code is going to be um, literally just for a free Evo player. But you know what? It still is a free... Uh, oh, I couldn't even spell community. It is still for a free you know, player to add towards the collection. And if anything, it'll be a quick sell that we could just get some extra empty out of the deal. You know, nothing special. Nothing too, too crazy. So I'm not too worried about it. Like, we already have that Drew Holiday. We already have Latrell. And we already have... Um, we already have that Emerald Channing Fry. So what's pretty cool is you actually get the tier that... Um, you you know like the evo is already at so what would be pretty cool is for us to actually be able to pick up that drew holiday again and then maybe sell him just for a little bit of coin um he might actually go for something but we're gonna get latrell sprewell that is gonna be a complete quick sell like we're not even gonna worry about it so i'm not worried about like like i said i wasn't worried about making anything anyway um there hasn't really been locker codes lately but that's 600 mt so i'll take that so we're rocking with 400 mt right now i think the plan of action for this episode is um i'm gonna get these tokens so i can just pick up another ruby player i might go a little bit farther you know try to get this diamond consumable pack we'll see what happens there um this desmond mason though i'm thinking about picking up because he's a good diamond player that once you evil him up obviously he's a good diamond player and there's still a shot that we actually do get um zach randolph kirk heinrich um you know one of those tokens another diamond consumable pack whatever it is we can actually get some good stuff out of here and also i didn't even notice this until now the vault is actually going to update tomorrow so that's pretty cool to see what we could possibly get, be getting in the vault let me know what you guys think we'll be getting down low in the comments and uh yeah let's get this grind going so in the beginning of the year like so many people like so many people were like yo bio you have to get this channing fry his release is so nice and he can really just spray from deep and i always said nah there's no way Channing Fry is not good he's like one I knew he wasn't gonna fit my play style but I was like nah his release ain't that good you know what I'm saying like I used him I didn't like it whatsoever this game I have not like that shot that I just showed you guys right there that was the first shot I've missed with him all game like literally this man has been spraying threes like like there's no tomorrow like honestly he was absolutely crazy that game so yeah I, my opinion's kind of turning around about Channing Fry I tried to do the quick quit thing right there but yeah like 
absolutely insane. Like you guys, I mean, like you, well, <clears throat> that obviously didn't show it like as much. And then we got a, like a layup, but there we go. There's a three ball for you. But I'm telling you, he was spraying threes. Now, I don't know if I'm going to evil him out to an amethyst, but I, since I was playing dribble threat, I was like, you know what? This account is all about being efficient with my time of grinding out what I should be grinding out. So I was like, what, like, where, like, you know, where, what direction am I going in here? So I decided, I was like, you know what? Let me just grind out some evos while I'm getting my tokens. Cause we got the tokens for our Ruby player. We're actually going to pop the vault open. The vault's going to have, okay, some tokens in it. If we could pull diamonds evo, that would be pretty, uh, pretty damn clutch. We're going to get the, like an extra token though. Like I said, so pretty cool there. Um, so we get an extra token. We're going to go over to, not there. We're going to go over to our Evo screen here because we do have two Evos to Evo up. We're going to Evo up Channing Fry to a Sapphire where a lot of his stats do get boosted already, which is pretty good. And then his next Evo requirements aren't even that bad, like for him to go to a Ruby. So I don't know. We might continue and play out like with like everything that we're doing here because we could probably get him to a Ruby just by playing triple threat and he could be a nice stretch big. Then we also Evo this Isaiah Thomas up to a Ruby. Um, again, nothing special. I mean, Isaiah might stay on the team, in all honesty, because he does get very good at defense. Um, and he could be like a free backup point guard, you know, like a third string, whatever the case may be. But both of them catching really good upgrades right there. Um, so I'll gladly take that, like I said. Um, <clears throat> and then I was going to... All right. And then we got to go to our Ruby rewards here and see what we can get. Now, I don't really think any of these players are really going to play for us. I talked about this like the first time we redeemed them like none of these guys are really gonna make the team just because like they're all really outdated um but you know what I think just for the lulls and just because why not we're gonna have to go ahead and pick up the boy big country let's go easy layup right there for Channing Fry so that's actually gonna complete this game and now after this game we're actually gonna be getting the diamond consumable pack so yeah Hopefully that can actually make us some decent MT if we can pull a contract out of it That is like ideal just because there's a lot of bad shoes that you can pull and I'm not really trying to pull like a shoe That goes for like, I don't know like 6k MT when I could just get a contract So we literally played probably what I want to say like around 15 games Maybe 15 16 games today of this. I think at least um I'm not gonna lie. I don't quite remember actually. No, we started no, we only played like 12 games. Never mind. But uh, yeah, we actually got this free agent pack and the tr and the uh, diamond pack, and we almost like, we only opened the vault like three times. So I don't know how it was that bad. I really don't. I have no idea how the vault luck is that bad, but it is. So we're actually gonna get a diamond contract out of that. There we go. That is perfect. That is what I wanted to see. So we're gonna go ahead and send that to our auctions here and go and take a look at what it's going to be going for like i said hopefully we can pick up something nice that would be um ideal you know a good you know at least 10k is ideal so obviously it's going to be 20k let's lower that a little bit here 18k okay so that's not bad so if there's none up for 18k we're going to put this up for 17k and just make sure it sells relatively quick just because i do want that mt pretty fast here i did go ahead and sell this markel fault as well um in the last episode i talked about how he is a good point guard and whatnot but a good point guard that I do want to look into picking up is actually going to be this Amethyst Lonzo Ball. Lonzo is a very good point guard, and he's a 6'6 point guard. His release is a little weird. That is the only part that I'm kind of like, you know, eh about. Like, his release is not that good. Um, and that part, like I said, does kind of scare me a little bit just because, it, like, I like point guards that could shoot. So, for me, having a point guard that has a weird release, I, I, I don't know. It's not really the best for me, but... We are going to lock in and get this uh, Lonzo Ball here just because he is a good defensive-minded point guard that I do think could be a good addition to the team. Okay, so we pick up Lonzo and the diamond contract sold already. So, perfectly done right there. We're going to go ahead and slide Lonzo into this team. So, off the bench now, it's going to be Rondo and Pierce. This DeAndre Jordan, I'm still debating on working with and getting the free throws done. Maybe as like a third string kind of uh, center. I, I'm not entirely too sure because I don't like how this bench has like no floor spacing. Rondo can knock down some threes now, but I do want a little bit more of a stretch center um, or a stretch big in one of them. So we'll have to see how that kind of works. We do have 15k MT, so I might kind of look around right now to see what we can pick up. The new promo did drop yesterday. I don't really think there's a lot of uh, options here. Kenyon Martin would be one. Honestly, I do like him. You guys know I loved using him yesterday, but he is a little bit pricey. That's the only problem there. I mean, 
if we could get him, he would probably be an end of the year card for us if we just sat there and evoed him throughout the rest of the series. Just because, like, he is very good, in my opinion. Um, taking a look at the, like, most recent um, cards that did drop. We do have this Michael Porter Jr., which we could run as a stretch big. He does have an 88 three ball and is pretty good. So, you know, I think we might actually go ahead and do that. He's a nice cheap option. Um, Marcus Morris actually could be... Marcus Morris could be another option as well. He's a little bit shorter, but I really do like Marcus Morris's release. He always plays great defense for me as well, and he was a budget baller um, towards the beginning of this year. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and pick him up. So, Marcus Morris, welcome to the squad. We're going to go ahead and add him right now. And then we're going to get into some unlimited games and hopefully can pick up some more wins towards uh, Baron Davis. All right, guys. Let's see who we match up with. He's got a decent team. He does have that Giannis, and he does have uh, Turkoglu, DeRozan, and Shy. So he's got a pretty good team. Um, but honestly, I think we'll be all right. All right, here we go. DeAndre Ayton versus George Murasan. Let's do it. Giannis, let's go. Let's push his tempo out immediately. Show him that we mean business. All right, let's not do that. <laughs> let's slow it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We, we start playing dumb fast. We're going to get turnovers, and then nobody wins in that situation. Let's go, Giannis, all the way. Easy dunk in the paint. There we go. Seriously, like that last possession, I'm not even like not even joking. My, this dude literally threw it at me like nine different times, and it just did not want to give me the steals like any of the times. Again, right there, right through me once more, and he's gonna get a nice little mid range right there. There's nothing you could do, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just be playing them games where they just they just they, you know they want to hoe. That's all it is. They just want to hoe you. Let's go, Kobe. Easy, wide open, bro. Kobe is missing wide open shots left and right. Like, that is literally three this game. We might actually have to turn the meter off to use this Kobe Bryant because I don't know what it is, man. Like, I'm not even pulling deep shots. Y'all see the shots that I'm taking. He's just not knocking them down. Lonzo is playing good defense, though, doing exactly what we picked him up for. Giannis, good defense as well. What just happened? Like, what? You guys just didn't like it, so you were like, nope, give it back. Like, that was it? Like, I didn't even get a fair shot there? You're like, god damn, bro. Lonzo wide open. There we go. Good shot. Let's go Josh Richardson wide open okay we might actually have to turn the meter off because at this point like we are just missing everything wide open there we go Kobe knocking down a nice green for us we got a good lead here 12 to 7 and we are missing a lot of shots so once that momentum wave kind of shifts and we're knocking down our open looks like I don't think this kid's gonna go very far that's just great defense for the whole team let's go Alonzo good defense they really gave that right back to him that's in three seconds my man's just sitting in the paint still all right it's all good Let's go. Good defense again. DeAndre Ayton is definitely one of the most solid options we've picked up on this team yet. Let's go. Hop step. All right. Thought we were going to get him in the air. Lonzo. Ball. Green being in that corner. Let's go. What the? Bro, literally Kobe just decided just to stop playing defense mid-possession. I don't even know what the hell happened there, but all right. Let's go. Slow this down. Keep up the good tempo that we got going on here. We're going to get DeAndre Ayton wide open. He's going to back up right there. There we go. Easy three ball. Oh, come on, Ayton. You got to give me those, bro. We're getting a lot of wide open looks here that we're just not cashing in on. He's going to get a free uh, layup here. Actually, never mind. Good defense from the team. Now he's going to get a free dunk because I'm sliding all over the damn place. Let's go. That's good defense all around. We're not giving up any free buckets like that. Let's go. Lonzo pushes out. We're going to go right around shy. Never mind. Kick it down low to Kobe. Easy dunk in the paint. We got a 10-point lead. Now, I said this in the beginning of the year, and I'm actually curious to know your guys' opinions. Um... Do you guys agree with this? I feel like the less defense you play, like, in a possession, the more you get rewarded. Like, and that's, like, a legitimate thing. Like, I feel like if you if you were to play defense the whole possession, right? Like, right, right there. Like, we clamped up that entire possession. We stayed with them. We contested this shot, and he still makes it. But I feel like if my opponent was to just sit here and leave me open, like, I would actually just sit there and brick it. Like, right here. He's going to leave me open here some way or another. DeRozan just been camped in this paint the whole time. Like, right, look, we'll get a wide open dunk or wide open layup right there. So we actually do make it, but to be fair, he actually did contest the shot on that one. But I legitimately feel like if, you know, you're trapping your opponent and you're playing good defense, like, you legitimately just get scored on the whole time. Like, I, I just, it doesn't make sense to me. Let's go, Rondo. I don't even know how that was an air one, bro. Honestly, I would quit after that, too. Yep, it's all fun and games until you go up against somebody overall cheese and with Yao and freaking Giannis. It's all good though. You know what? We're gonna uh, we're gonna definitely you know we're, you know what we're gonna push this tempo immediately. I was gonna say you know we're gonna play fast because I know he's gonna wanna play fast. You know what? Let's do it. I'll meet you halfway. You know what I'm saying? 
yeah, we out here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to push this tempo out on your ass ASAP. Kobe, that's a big shot. I need you to knock that down. I knew we were going to miss that, though, bro. I don't know what it is. This Amethyst Kobe is just not doing it for me, man. His release, I, like, I don't know, man. I know that Diamond's release very well. And uh, unless it's a different kind of release, I don't know, because we're missing a lot. But we're going to definitely play this out with Lonzo here. Let's go, Aiden. Big boy dunks in the paint. Now, honestly, we are like the budget team here. So the equalizer is going to be on our side to start this game out. And I know that. So I'm going to try to take advantage of that as much as I can. Let's go, Kobe. Bryant all the way, buddy. We can't hit a jump shot to save our life this game. But I'll tell you what, we are dunking on him every chance that we get. We are doing great. Are doing a great job at closing out on these threes as well. I already know where he's looking to kick this ball. Oh, I know you wanted to throw that, Chief. That's a good shot right there. I was going to say, he deserves to hit that. That was on me. I clicked the wrong icon right there. But, uh, yeah, we're doing a good job. We just got to make sure that we keep it going. Let's go, Lonzo. Wide open. Big shot, buddy. Big shot. All right, we're going to get back into a man. I think our luck of him kind of missing some threes is going to run out. So, I definitely want to make sure that we switch up our defense here and kind of throw something else at him. Throw him off a little bit, you know. Let's go. That's a lob. DeAndre Ayton all the way. Good dunk. Ayton's got 7-5 and five in this first quarter, playing extraordinarily well. Let's go. Get back on that, Yanni. He's going to hop step. Let's go. Good defense. It didn't, like, because he took a jump shot, it didn't let me contest it. Let's go, Kobe. Let's go. Big boy greens. I needed that. I was going to say, that is a really clutch three right there, kind of keeping our lead a little bit longer. Like, we're, I'm not going to lie. We're kind of struggling right now to uh, get any sort of stop now just because, like, our deep, like all of our players are too sluggish. Like, that's, like, really the only problem with this team is, like, everybody, you know, they may have good defensive stats. And, like, that's what I really am relying on because right now everybody's going to be playing so sluggish and just so, like, behind that it's going to kind of, you know, suck. But my boy DeAndre Ayton with another big block. We're going to get the bench in here now. So, hopefully, you know, everybody has a little bit more stamina. He doesn't have time, I think, to take, like, a decent jump shot. So, yeah, I was going to say he has to kind of throw a lob. Which we actually played very well. Let's go. Push this out all the way. Rondo, don't get blocked. <laughs> go Pierce all the way, buddy. I wasn't even sure to say anything right there. I'm sure you guys heard me. I was like, I, eh. look, we have no turnovers right now. Like, that is what I'm telling you guys. We are playing so great as a team. We just got to keep that going. Can somebody close out on Baron, please? Like, I don't even care what happened. Okay, no. We're just going to leave Baron wide open. We get extremely lucky with him missing that shot right there. My opponent has not greened a single shot this game. Really? Thank you, Pierce. That's such a big freaking shot, man. This kid's literally just off-balling in the paint with Yao, and it's like, I get it. Like, you do have to off-ball this year. I'm not going to deny that one bit. But it's the fact that you're overall glitching against a budget team, and then you're going to sit there and just off-ball with Yao in the paint. Like, it's just sad, bro. Like, there comes the point where it's just freaking sad. Uh, dude, I'm going to lose my mind. Like, y'all are literally going to watch me freaking lose my shit. I can't do anything. Every time I make a pass, it, either that happens or it's like it's like I literally just drop the ball or I freaking, um, what's it called? Either I'll just drop the ball or like, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say anymore right now because I'm just that freaking flustered, dude. It's like I can't pass the ball. I can't freaking move anywhere. Like I'm the latest shit right there too. Like it's so freaking frustrating, man. Jason Richardson there or Josh Richardson, whatever. Thank you for knocking down a shot. I, dude, I'm literally going to lose it. I'm literally going to lose it. It's just nothing but bailouts. And, you know, normally I cut all this stuff out. But you know what? You guys wanted longer episodes. And you guys even said last time, you were like, bye. We want to see, you know, like how the games are with the no money spent teams. I got you. I'm going to show you all how the games really are. Let's go. Josh Richardson all the way. And one, baby. Give me that. That's how we take the lead right back. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Finally clutching up as a team, getting some defensive stops, man. I switched up my zone a little bit. I started running a different one. Like, I'm done with these cheese balls, bro. I figured out how to kind of run something else a little bit, courtesy of my boy RJ. You know what I'm saying? No, we, we out here now. You know, that's a good shot because that, that's on me. But, no, you're missing that now. You're missing that now because you know why? Your bailouts are done, Chief. They're done. Kobe, corner three, bro. I need it. Oh, good board by Aiden. Kick that out to Lonzo. Oh, my God. Why didn't you shoot that? I tried to shoot it. It just didn't even let me. Let's go inside positioning. Let's go, Aiden. Let's go, and one. Giannis, I need that and one, bro, next time. Let's go, baby. Not Like, that's like a freaking 13 to 0 run. That's how we clutch up. Let's go. That's a good dribble back. Josh Richardson, baby. That defense is out here, bro. These transition buckets are literally what is winning us the game right now. We're playing great defense. We're locking up. He can't do a lot right now. This is what we need to see, bro. 
Oh, that's on me. That's a lapse of defense on my part. I'll, I'll take credit for that one. Oh, he put himself in his zone. Like, I, I get it. I, I get what you're doing here. And I'm not going to lie. It might actually expose us because I don't think we have enough range extended players to actually, like, score. So, I'm going to just really hope the fact that we knock down this three right here. Drew Holiday, big boy shot. Okay, that wasn't even a three, but that's fine. 14 point lead. I think we will be able to hold on to even with him doing this. So, we should be all right. As long as we can hang on to it, we'll be okay. That is how it's done, baby. We clutch up out here. You know what I'm saying? You come in with your overall cheese in pink diamond squad against the budget team, bro. I told you. We clutch up. I admitted at first we were getting a little bailed out. Not going to lie. But you know what? We switched our defense around, bro. We clutched up. We clamped up. And we picked up that dub. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. That's going to do it for episode number seven. I think we're on. I don't know. We might actually be on number six. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's seven. But either way, a lot of, or, you know, a decent amount of improvements to the team. Like, we did add Lonzo. We, like, evoed up uh, Jason Kidd a little bit. Um, actually, I don't even know if I talked about that. I did pick up um, Jason Kidd. We evoed him up a little bit throughout the um, spotlight challenges and then, like, triple threat offline. Um, we evened up Isaiah a little bit. Obviously, like, none of that stuff really matters, though. But we did pick up Marcus Morris. You know, we changed up the bench a little bit. The team definitely plays a lot better. Like, DeAndre Ayton is definitely, like, the best player on this team for a reason. If we can add Dirk and Baron Davis, that'll be huge. Dirk would definitely come off the bench somewhere. And then, obviously, Baron Davis is taking this starting spot. So, we're 3-0. You know, we're looking pretty good. We got a decent amount of MT going on, stuff like that. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hit that like button if you guys did enjoy. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.